Hey guys, Rob here from Rockaway Designs and today I'd like to talk to you about some of the tools that you're going to be using when you're doing your paracord projects. Uh, first of all, I'd like to touch on scissors. Uh, I use a particular brand called Scotch and they feature a stainless steel blade, plastic handle with a soft rubber insert. Uh, these work rather well for me. I've had them for oh, about a year now um, and they have yet to show any signs of going dull. Um, you can use other brands such as Fiskars. Uh, but uh, I use scotch and it's worked rather well for me. Um, I have no reason to actually buy another pair of scissors at any point in time. Uh, these were a pretty good investment from the get-go. Uh, so if you can pick these up, I think these run about six or seven bucks. Uh, and you can find them at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, uh, almost any craft store or hobby store or convenience store um, that carries scissors. Uh, the next point I'd like to touch on is what you're going to be using when you burn or singe your cord. Uh, when I first started, I did use Bic style lighters. Uh, these worked good in the beginning, although I was finding that the style that uh, I tend to tie with, uh, I tied very tight. Um, I was finding that I was breaking joints uh, more often than not. Um, I did a little bit of experimentation and I just kind of found out that this wasn't just getting hot enough for me and my purposes. So I kind of got away from these. Uh, if this is all you have access to though, by all means, uh, don't deviate from it. If it works for you, great. Um, other people like to use uh, the torch style lighters or candle lighters. Um, and these are fine as well, but once again I just found out that these weren't getting very hot. Uh, the one thing that I do use when I do burn cord, uh, I do use a micro torch. Um, this particular model I found at Harbor Freight. Uh, it was $8.99 plus tax. Um, it is run on butane. It is refillable in the bottom. Uh, you have a push button ignition and uh, you regulate your fuel here. It has a ceramic tip uh, for heat dispersion. Um, just a really, really nice tool. Um, you can turn your gas on, push button ignition, uh, if you can see that flame comes to a nice pinpoint uh, precision point. You can actually get your heat exactly where you want it uh, and uh, not risk any damaging any uh, other line cords. Um, really, really nice. Uh, if you're going to be using this uh, freehand, uh, just remember always point the flame away from you. Uh, you don't want to burn yourself. Uh, you can get second and third degree burns from this thing rather quickly by just running your finger in front of the flame. Uh, I've done it once, I won't do it again, uh, so let my lesson be a uh, warning for you. Um, it does hurt, pretty painful, um, but uh, once again, probably one of the best investments that I've made. Uh, the next thing that I want to get on is after you fuse your cord, sometimes you have uh, rough spots or high spots and you need to get rid of those or you need to find a way to touch your cord. Um, you don't want to do so with your bare hands or your bare fingers. It's just not a good feeling. Burns uh, are just, I mean, they're part of the game, but uh, if you can avoid them, by all means, do. Uh, my wife actually found these silicone finger caps. Uh, these were made by Mod Podge, and I believe they come in a pack of two or three uh, for $3.99, $4.99 uh, at Hobby Lobby. And they just slip over your finger, and once again, once you're done, uh, burning your uh, cords and melt and fusing them together, uh, you can use this on your finger and kind of smooth out your, your rough edges, your high spots, what have you. Uh, add a little bit more heat, kind of melt it back down, push your, your high spots down. Uh, works really, really well for that. Um, it doesn't take all the heat away. Uh, if you get your cord hot enough, you will still feel some discomfort, uh, but it's better than actually getting burned. Uh, just a nice little investment here, uh, and like I said, I think they come in a pack of two or three for four ninety nine, uh, and these just work really, really well. Silicone finger caps, and these are made by Mod Podge. Um, the next thing I want to touch on, uh, and I haven't had a great use for it, uh, but I do use it uh, once in a while. Uh, this is a five inch permalock needle. Um, it's made of brass. Uh, it's pointed on one end. Uh, it gets tapered on one end. And then on the other end, it's actually hollow, and it is threaded there. And I don't know if you can see that or not. But what you do is you cut your cord at an angle, twist it, thread your needle onto it, and it will not come apart. 
Um, really, really nice product. Um, like I said, I don't use it too often, but it's nice to have in your toolbox uh, just in case you do need it or if you're doing any type of lacing work. Uh, there's plenty of projects out there that uh, I'm seeing lately that are incorporating a lot of lace work. Uh, so these do come in various sizes. Uh, this is the one that I bought though because this worked actually with my 550 cord, uh, which is what I predominantly use at this point in time. Uh, and this, like I said, it's made of brass. Uh, you can find it in your craft store and Hobby Lobby anyway uh, by the leather working uh, materials. Um, good, good stuff right there. The next thing that I want to touch on is what you're going to use to measure your cord. Uh, you can do a tape measure, and in my toolbox I actually have a metal tape measure. Nice little small form fitting factor. Uh, this one's a 12 inch, or excuse me, 12 feet by a half inch uh, measuring tape, and this is what I use when I measure out the length of my cord uh, before I cut it. Um, you can use any tape tape measure. Uh, actually, if, if you're in a pinch, you can actually wait on, if you have Harbor Freight nearby, uh, use Harbor Freight. Uh, they do publish coupons to where you can actually get one of these boys. Uh, this is a big fatty, uh, nice tape measure, but uh, they do publish coupons to where you can get one for free. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, good option there in case, uh, you know, money is a little tight and uh, you just need something to get by with. Uh, the next thing that I want to touch on, uh, if you're doing any type of bracelet work that's nice to have about, is a tailor's tape measure. Um, this runs about, uh, well this is uh, 60 inches long, uh, and you can use this to measure your customer's wrist. You just wrap it around the wrist, get your measurement, if you need to add length, add your length, uh, and move forward from there. Uh, really, really good idea to have one of these. Uh, if you can find these in the sewing aisle in any craft store, um, although I do want to warn you sometimes those tape measures are a little bit overpriced if you can usually get it by the registers they have the bargain bins there as you're checking out sometimes they do have different colors uh, the material may not be as good but as long as it measures and flexes around your customer's wrist it's fine usually you can find those for 99 cents sometimes even two for a dollar um, just a good investment get a couple of them one to have like, in your backpack or whatever your purse wherever you're carrying it uh, the other one to just kind of keep in your kit at home uh, and that way you always have one with you. Uh, the last point I want to touch on today is the last thing that I use and I've deemed it probably probably one of the most important things that I use when I'm doing bracelets. Uh, it is a jig. Uh, this particular one here is made by Jig Pro Shop uh, and this is a 12 inch model I do if, if I remember correctly um, and it's not bad although uh, I did buy it in haste when I first started out uh, doing paracord um, and I've quickly uh, outgrown it, uh, and I would. I, there's a lot of uh, designs uh, issues that I'd want to just fix uh, once I get a new jig. But uh, this has served me well. I still use it today. I won't get rid of it. Uh, but uh, I think it's time for me to upgrade. Um, two different sizes of buckles here. Uh, this size here is the one I use the most. Uh, it's got a wing nut here. Slide adjustment works really, really well. Once again, this is from Jig Pro Shop. Uh, there are a couple of people out there who have manufactured their own jigs. Uh, one that I do know is Jim Cooper uh, of Swampville Craftables. Uh, he will probably be the next one I order my next jig from uh, in the near future. Uh, something probably a little bit longer and uh, his uh, incorporate uh, a little bit thicker blocks of wood uh, just so I can get my fingers in, in the middle. Uh, just kind of makes it easier when you're, when you're moving pretty quickly. Um, but once again, jig, nice way to go. Uh, you can put your two poles in here. Um, helps you do your ball and loop uh, closures rather than doing the buckle. Uh, and then you also have your bars that you can attach on either end and uh, finish other projects that way. Um, really nice piece of equipment to have. Uh, there are tutorials on there how to make your own. Uh, if you just research that on YouTube or through uh, Google search, uh, you'll find plenty of do-it-yourself uh, projects as far as jigs go. Uh, but this is the one of the ones that I first ordered just because I didn't want to take the time to make my own. Um, but uh, it's time that uh, I definitely upgrade. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, that's what I use when I do my paracord projects and hopefully it was uh, better and, and, uh, and informative to you uh, to where you can have, make some educated decisions on the things that you need to do your projects uh, and that's all I have for you.
Thank you for watching my video. You can find me on all types of social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, uh, my own blog, rockawaredesigns.com, or rockawaredesigns.storenby.com. Thank you, take care, and we'll see you again. Hey guys, Rob here from Rockaware Designs, and today I'd like to talk to you about some of the tools that you can use while you're doing some of your paracord projects. This is what you're going to use to burn or singe your cord. Uh, when I first started, I did use such things as butane lighters, um, and they worked rather well in the beginning, although I found out with the style and way I like to tie, I like to tie very tight.